Is there a highway you might travel on once in a while that has a sign indicating some sort of point of interest and you think to yourself, I'm going to stop there one of these days. Well, on our way home from Texas, there's a sign that's out on Interstate 8 about 10 miles west of Gila Bend that we've seen for several years. And we finally decided today would be the day we stop and check out the Painted Rocks Petroglyphs. Turns out the Painted Rock Petroglyphs are surprisingly more significant than I would have expected. Not only are they the first documented petroglyphs in North America, but they're also the densest accumulation of petroglyphs in North America. A recent inventory done by Dr. Aaron Wright and his volunteers counted over 3,000 petroglyphs on 428 rocks. I have a link in the description below to a presentation given by Dr. Wright if you'd like to find out more information about the Painted Rock Petroglyphs. If you're thinking about stopping at the Painted Rocks, I highly recommend checking out this presentation. Many of the petroglyphs have been destroyed by vandalism going back over 100 years. Fortunately, there's many good ones left to look at. And if you happen to have an extra hour or two while driving on Interstate 8 in Arizona, it's really well worth the time to stop and take a look at these. There's even a campground there with toilets if you're so inclined to spend the night. Or you can do what we did, the overlanding way. We weren't planning on spending the night, but we didn't really have to be back in San Diego that night. And we really wanted to spend just one more night in the trailer. So we decided to shoot out on a dirt road on a BLM land and see what we could find for a campsite. there's no fee for camping off the seldom used BLM road, except for maybe donating a little paint. So much for that new trailer look. We really had no idea what this road had in store for us. It was just a road that led out into BLM land from the Painted Rocks. Turned out it had some pretty good stuff on it. And then it brought us up onto a mesa where we could break out the drone for the first time since we were no longer on national park land. This is just the beginning of a super bloom wildflower season that we're going to find out about in a couple of weeks. You won't want to miss those episodes where we do segment one and segment two of the Arizona BDR. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe icon and hit that bell icon so you get notified when the next episode comes out. After driving around out in the Sonoran Desert for a while, finally found a spot that was flat and had a little greenery around it, and we decided to make camp there. Good morning. Well, this campsite worked out really well for us last night. We really enjoyed it. 
This is the, uh, well, last night was our 12th night sleeping in the uh, Patriot trailer since we picked it up in Oklahoma a couple weeks ago. We haven't been home yet, but today is the day we are returning home. It was a really nice campsite. It was flat. Uh, the, the reason I picked this spot when we were driving by is uh, it just had some nice greenery around it. There's some there's some uh, groundwater around uh, <laughs> just down the road is where we hit some mud yesterday and, and uh, even though I couldn't see it, it was right underneath the ground. The openness gave us a great shot of the sky last night. We had that terrific sunset. And then after sunset, the moon didn't, didn't rise until around 9.30, 10 o'clock, so we had a great view of the stars. And uh, did try and take some photos. If those came out, I'll post them right now so you can have a look. Uh, but it was just, it was beautiful. The sky was very dark here. Um, a little more air traffic than in Big Bend. But other than that, just a beautiful sky here at night. So that's going to wrap it up for us. This is the end of uh, three weeks on the road. We're heading home today. We are just about out of water. And really, time to go home and take care of a few things there before we head out on the next trip. We're really glad you could join us on this one. It's been a great one. And we look forward to seeing you again next time, right here on Adventure Beyond 60. Hey there, just a little postscript note while we're driving out of the desert here. The Arizona BDR videos that I alluded to earlier in this video are going to have to wait for a while as we're just about to take off and head to Alaska. When we return, we'll get those Arizona BDR videos up and we'll begin work on what should be a spectacular Alaska series of videos. Along the way, we'll be posting some short videos so that you can ride along with us while we're out there. And we look forward to seeing you again right here on Adventure Beyond 60.